all you cool cats and kittens out there. We've got a beautiful day in Central Florida. Hold on, hold on. Something feels a little off. Logan, we're not talking about tigers today or big cats. Heck, I may not talk about those ever again. Let's try this again. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Hey, all you lemur and lemurettes out there, are you feeling sophisticated? So here at Lemur Landing, we can go on any field trip that we desire. As long as we stay six feet away from each other, that's right kids, we can go anywhere that our imagination takes us. But today, you may be wondering, why is this crazy woman in a tree? Well, because we're gonna be talking about my favorite animal, the lemur, and I think I see one right now. Let's go down and say hi. Woo! Hello, Mr. Lemur. So this is a ringtail lemur. And you'll notice that he's got black and white stripes all up and down his tail. There's about 12 to 13 different stripes. Lemur means spirit of the night. That's because most of these little guys love being out hunting and eating and doing all of their lemur business actually at nighttime when the moon is out but as you notice today it's daylight and these guys ringtail lemurs they are diurnal so they love to be out in the sun and sit and just enjoy themselves all in the sunshine lemurs are actually part of the order primates just like us, just like apes. However, they are also called prosimians. Prosimian, meaning before ape. Some of the other animals that are included in that are tarsiers, which kind of look like a very small furry brown frog with big eyes. And they actually hang out at Southeast Asia. You've got your tarsiers, you've got your lemurs, you've got your bush babies, which do look a little bit like squirrels, like a big fuzzy squirrel. Sometimes people have them as pets, but they're very endangered. And no animal in the wild, especially endangered ones, belong in our homes. So bush babies, they look a little bit like squirrels, but they're not, they're primates. So they're actually a little bit more related to monkeys. Well, they are related to monkeys. Then the last one is slow and slender lorises. Go ahead and Google those. They're pretty wackadoodle animals, but they're one of my favorites as well. So these guys, lemurs, they actually are terrestrial. So you noticed I had him down here on the ground because ringtails, again, love to be on the ground more than they are in trees. There's about a hundred, maybe a little bit more of species, different species of lemurs that exist in a very mysterious island off the coast of Africa. Shh, we're not gonna talk about that yet. We need to save some more material for the next video, but we're gonna be getting to that as well. So these guys, lemurs, prosimians, not to be confused with persimmon, which is a fruit out of Japan that looks a little bit like a very small navel orange, even smaller, more like a, a cutie. And also they have the skin a little bit thicker than an apple and they're supposed to taste very much like honey. So prosimian, these guys are ringtail lemurs. Lemurs, they can live between 16 to 19 years in the wild and they love to dine on bark, even soil, fruits, vegetables, leaves, decaying matter, and sometimes they'll also even catch little lizards and birds as well. So I know you're chomping at the bit for me to read my Sophisticated Lemurs Perfect Prosimian Politeness book, as well as Aloysius Ai's Adventures in Hygiene. Those are gonna be coming very shortly. 
but I need to get some lemur friends together first. In the meantime, if you love lemurs just as much as I do, please go to Duke Lemur Center at www.dukelemurcenter.com and you can see all of their antics right there on their webcams and they've got beautiful, beautiful outdoor enclosures. It's in Durham and they're the only other facility besides the one, and I'm not gonna say it, off the coast of Africa that you can see the variety of lemurs. So in the meantime, be chivalrous, hop to new heights, and wash your hands. Till then!